Massive, massive Nigima. And the stuffing. It's good. Hey, Yaki Gang, Yaktori Guy here. As we get closer to the holidays, some of you have been asking whether or not it's possible to make yakitori out of other birds, such as duck or turkey. And today I have here a 14 pound young turkey, which will be breaking down, skewering, and grilling just like we do with chicken. So I've been doing this for the last few Thanksgivings when I realized that while whole turkey can be very dry, especially when you cook it whole, roast it whole, when you do it yakitori style, the turkey becomes very juicy, even the turkey breast. That's because unlike cooking a whole bird, where all the parts get cooked at the same temperature for the the same amount of time. With yakitori style, you're gonna cut all these parts and have the ability to cook each of the parts at different temperatures and at different times so that you get that perfect juicy meat no matter which part of the turkey. So for typical yakitori, I'm using chicken that's about maybe three and a half pounds to four and a half pounds, so maybe about this size. Now for turkey though, even this young turkey, this is 14 pounds and there's even larger turkeys, 20, 25, 30 pound turkeys. And for yakitori, we're gonna be basically using these small skewers, but because these turkey, it's so big, including let's say the oysters is gonna be really big, I'm gonna change it up and use these larger skewers. So for this turkey, I'm gonna do the exact same step which I use for breaking down chicken. And for details step by step on that, make sure to watch my chicken breakdown video. Giant, giant bonjiri. Oh my gosh, this, even the, the meat around here, it's super thick. Go for the legs. It's massive, massive, massive. Yeah, at 14 pounds, this is basically three times the weight of just the chicken that I handle here. So, so far, all the steps are pretty similar chicken. We got the oyster sake right here, which I'm gonna use the tip of the knife to just carve out. Just wanna carefully get that. Once I get a feel for it. Whew. Look at that. So right here, oyster, very, very, very big. It's, uh, you know, typical chicken oyster is about the size of a grape. This one's the size of an egg. <laughs> oh my gosh. Takes a lot more power, for sure. Here. The butt skin, the harami, the belly skin. It's not too much bigger than the chicken. Do you ever find this in Turkey? This is just a little temperature gauge, thermometer gauge. We're not gonna need this. We're ready, we're gonna get the turkey breast skin. All right, first of all, it's just tougher. Yeah, the membrane is just kind of stickier than the chicken one, but it's still coming off. Oh, that is a lot of turkey skin right there. Wings, breast. So everything is just much bigger. Let's see if this comes off. Whoa! <laughs> this is just so massive right here. All right, let's do the other side. So all the tendons and the connective tissues, much, much bigger. The position of the wishbone is a little bit deeper down too. So not only is this bigger than a chicken, some of the positions, including like the wishbone, like the angles, a little bit different. The size of the connective tendons, a little bit different. Yeah. Whew. Tenders are here, turkey tenders. Size and just the shape of the tenders. Pretty different from the chicken right here. Oh, this is just a massive, massive. Okay. Basically like a banana, this turkey tender is just very massive. Normally I would do the chest cartilage, but in the case of this turkey, it's very small and too hard, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use it. Again, I've noticed that skin is just so much tougher to pull on this. I'm really afraid of, I might rip apart some of the meats that I need. Oh, so normally I would go for this back skin, but I don't, I don't wanna rip it. 
it might destroy some of the meat that I want, like this the shoulder meat. So I'm gonna leave this back skin on and just go straight for this the shoulder meat, back meat. I'll leave a skin on, carving across. So this is pretty good. This is a, a big piece of shoulder meat. The skin's still on, that'll be good for yakitori. And right here, it's not really much neck left. Carcass here, we make some nice turkey stock. Not much of this neck, but maybe, maybe we get some of this meat off. Got the neck, put this in here. Here it is, all the turkey parts broken down, similar to the chicken style, and let's skewer these up. I'm gonna start with tenders here. Reminds me of plantains. I wanted to get these long skewers, very thick, mainly because I just wanted to cut these not in small yakitori bites, but it's the same style, the same method that I do with yakitori. So if this is chicken, tenders are gonna be cut into these four pieces. Keep it the same. That way, very easy. Here we go. All right, let's see. Let's go with these skins here. Before the yakitori, each of these skins are about an inch wide. These are gonna be about maybe an inch and a half wide. So it's in balance with the size of everything else. So let's see how this is gonna work because turkey skin is just, it's a very tough skin. So my skewer is already, the tip is already bent. So we'll see how much more I'm gonna be able to skewer through this or can't use it anymore. Also the key to skin is, let's go quick. The longer you're at it, the tip of the skewer just gets very soggy. And that's when it's gonna be tough to poke through. And with this skin skewer, expectation is not for one person to get this skewer. I would, after you cook it, probably just split this up. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. If you love turkey skin, or just any sort of poultry skin, this is one massive skewer here. A little bit of this butt skin, harami. Something like this. Massive, massive, massive wing. Take these breasts. All right, so turkey breast. A lot of fats on this, and this should be small enough that I should be able to control it, so it's gonna come out juicy. So we got the wing jaw mets. A chicken gizzard is probably like this size. In this case, it's pretty massive right here. Gizzard skin, pretty tough. Knife is having a hard time going through. Gizzard. Liver. All right, lastly, let's do these legs. Drumsticks. This is just really tough on, on turkey. The, these tendons in here, it's just really, really, really hard. Almost like bone, it's really hard to cut through. You just have to carefully just cut one of these strings at a time, separating it. And I can imagine turkey being just a bigger bird. This has so much more weight to support. All these Achilles tendons are just really tough on there. It's gonna cut off this inner thigh here. It's always easy to identify. It's definitely a separate muscle. Same with the oysters. Look at these oysters, this is huge. And make my favorite, the inner thigh pieces and the oyster. Massive, massive oysters right here. And for chicken, I'll be using regular onions, but for these large, large turkey thighs, I wanted to go something a little bit bigger. Now we can get Tokyo Negi. Tokyo Negi is a big fat Japanese onions, but instead I wanted to get something that maybe it's easier for most of you guys to get. So these, we have leeks here. I guess these, I can throw it into the soup. Pretty similar to Tokyo Negi. These look like regular Negima until you realize these are regular skewers. Giant, giant, giant turkey Negima. So because on these turkey drumsticks, these Achilles tendons are just so tough. Cause I'm just gonna grill this as is. Once it cooks up, I think these will just peel off and they'll be easy to eat. But till then, it's really hard to skewer. This is, this is the, I don't care too much about this meat part right here. 
All right, so that's it. These are all the skewers from one whole turkey. Now I wanted to do a little bit sort of bonus skewers where I have made some stuffing. This is just a traditional, just store-bought stuffing mix. But I'm gonna make it into a ball like this. And the idea for me is these are gonna be basically stuffing tsukune. No meat, but kind of like tsukune right here. Just making them into balls. All right, so now that we got all the turkey pieces, including the stuffing tsukune, let's get this on the grill. The negima, I don't want to dip it in. Turkey has slightly different flavor than chicken. So I'm just gonna brush on. And I'm still using the same brush, but it's not really contaminating it as much. Skin, looking great. This is one massive oyster right here. Let's go. <laughs> Has a bite. Definitely like flavor. Definitely better than any roasted turkey, like oven turkey, way better. Mm. Turkey breast. This should be super dry, but this is the yaki turkey, yakitori version of turkey breast. Still gonna be a little bit more dry feeling than the thai, but I haven't put any gravy or anything on it. Flavorful, soft, this is the way to go. The stuffing, it's gonna. The Kiwi's tendons. Stuffing, it's gonna. Slowly heating it up until it gets nice and crispy on the outside. All right, there you have it. The whole spread of one whole turkey made into yakitori. So yaki turkey. We have the wings, the tenders, the dai negima, some gizzards, skin, liver, some wing drumettes. Got the oysters here and the drumsticks, some shoulders, breasts, and right here, this is the stuffing made into tsukune balls. We take one whole bird, but basically make it into all these different parts, and it might make it easier for other people to basically just grab the parts they want. You don't have to carve anything, because it's already done. All right, so let me go ahead and make myself a plate. Let's see, we'll take negima and tare. Hmm, definitely gonna go with some breasts. And lastly, we'll get the tsukune stuffing. Gonna go ahead and put some gravy on. So I'm definitely cutting corners by using the store-bought gravy, but if you really want to go kodawari and go all the way with this, you can take those turkey bones from basically breaking down this turkey and make your own turkey tare gravy with it. So this is just the store-bought and some cranberry on the turkey breast skewer. The stuffing, it's gonna just put some on there. You know what? It's always room for gravy. Here we go. All right, so let me get some sake. That goes well with yakitori. So hopefully it'll go well with this turkey as well. This is tengumai, yamahai, and 
This is the one turkey meal that we're not gonna be needing fork and knife. The breasts with cranberry and gravy. So it's the flavors of Thanksgiving that we're all familiar with. Got that gravy, cranberry sauce, but with that yakitori smoke. So if you're into yakitori, as you have been if you're watching the channel for this past year, and just wanna try something different with your Thanksgiving this year. Instead of the whole turkey from the oven, where you gotta carve and, and fight over all the pieces, this year you can basically fight over which skewer you want. Mm. All right, Yaki gang. So this may possibly be the last video for me of 2021. Basically, this is sort of my holiday video, Thanksgiving, my thank you video for you guys. Thank you so much for those who have been part of my journey. Definitely this year, I've seen the growth of the channel. We've basically topped 10K. Uh, I've been able to work with a lot of other food creators, chefs out there doing all these collaboration videos. That's been super fun. And just seeing you guys, especially outside of YouTube, like on Instagram, when you guys are sending me messages or photos, tagging photos with Yaki Gang of your Yakitori progress. Um, it's just been really fun to see your guys' growth based on all the tips and techniques that I've been able to share. So thank you guys so much. We're all part of this Yakitori Yaki Gang journey together. So I definitely appreciate all the feedback, the questions, and everything we do to make this process really fun for everyone. And definitely thank you guys, all those who have donated chickens this past year, those who have purchased items on my Amazon shop, all those proceeds have really helped me uh, basically take the time and, and use those funds to buy a lot of these things so I can continue making these fun videos for you guys. So hope you guys are having fun, I'm having fun, and if I don't create another video, See you guys in 2022. So yucky gang strong, let's go. Next year, we're gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. Thank you guys for watching. And as usual, if you like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up. If you have any questions or feedback, make sure to write in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. I might be doing more lives, so if you're subscribed and have your notifications on, you'll know when I go on live and I can answer your questions live. All right, that's it for today. Happy holidays. See you guys in the next video. Bye yucky gang.